Today we're going for a completely different hit route. We're not gonna play League. We're not gonna play Runeterra. We're not gonna play TFT. We're gonna try Final Fantasy because I've been wanting to play it for quite a while and during COVID it was absolutely impossible because everyone was playing Final Fantasy. So now it's my time to play Final Fantasy. The last time I think I tried Final Fantasy was literally 10 years ago. So we're going to give it a try and see how it is because I know there's hunky dudes, hot ladies, there's a really good story. I have an issue because I am very indecisive and I don't know whether I want to be a man or a woman. This is my first option that I was trying. I was going for lizard dragon baby. I think this is so sick. This is super sick. This is super cool. But I made a male version of it because I'm horny. So this is the male version of it. It's a hunky dude. I do want to believe that his dick has the same ridges. I live for this. This is beautiful. He's very handsome. Okay. Look at my big boy. Look how big he is! It's a fucking unit! And yes, it's me. I want to be him. I, wa I want to play him in the game. And then people would be like, oh my god, this man is so hot. And I'll be like, <laughs> I know. She loves him more than me. I'm done for. Johnny, you know how it is. Full game has bunny girls and tiger daddies. Tiger daddies? What? What? Ah! It's like... I'm not a furry, but you know how you were like, you were 10 years old and you're watching The Lion King and you had a crush on Simba, but then Lion King 2 came out and then Kovu came out and you're like, ah oh, shit, why is he so hot? Is that a boy? Oh, it's a male Viera. Oh my God. No. Okay, how much is the expansion? So what I chose for myself or the cat version of me was this. I hate her face though. God, it's so round. No hate for people with round faces, but like, give me some shape. Give me something to work with here. Look at how disrespectful this is. Like, what is, what, what is, where is the jaw? That's very Noxian. I, I'm, I, I'm liking that. Whoa! You're so edgy. Whoa! What? She's a witch. Right now, we're gonna go for Thama, Thamatorge which is chaos with a staff for first name and surname okay now now we need to pull out out the the old school name generators hot girl names it's 100 sexy girl names no 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 which names aurora clara harper hazel lydia nix demon names abaddon impressive how we take so long for a perfect name it's just it's just part of the immersiveness of a game like if you don't put all of your time into the name of your character it's just not worth it how about egret then a thor egret and then we're going to go call her Iggy. And it's kind of like a lizard, because it's like an iguana, right? Yay! We can finally play the game. <laughs> Whoa, you look at me. I'm so cute. Iggy! My baby! My little... Oh, I hear. Here. Okay. Jesus, is that you? Where are we going? Oh. Is this one of those kink parties? I consent to do this? Ooh. Whoa. Ew, I have a little stink. <laughs> no. 
Nah, bitch. We're not running around with a little stick. Stop. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> Y'all right, lass? We're moaning something fierce for a while there. I would. Feeling the effects of the aether, I reckon. Okay, it's kind of cute. We'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. You there! Halt! Oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna happen! It's the stuff! What's all this about? Inspection, man. Search the carriage. Yeah, I really look like I'm the main character. <laughs> I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So, uh, don't be so too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Mind your tongue, old man. Let's cut it out. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? Oh my god, he's asking him some kush? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days, unless you can afford the fine. What a douchebag! Ah, business as usual. Wah! Amalja! Amalja! To arms! Seven Hells, consider this a warning. Now go! All of you! I like how those, like, two kids, like, just don't bother. Those are my brethren! We have the same scales! Phew, that kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. What kind of excitement is good for the heart, sir? You be careful around them brass blades, lass. Bastards have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits they are. Only less honest. Thank God for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we've still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? <laughs> sure. The youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Oh, they're main characters. Brent's the name. And Petal and Betrayed. I would think for a stinky old man. That don't lo look like the stinky old man. Look at me! I'm fucking phenomenal! And judging by your unusual garments, I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. How'd you guess? I knew it! Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory, now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventure is a risky business, these days especially. What was that first attracted you to it? Hunky dudes. <laughs> I want power. Power? As in, uh, power to do good? Like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that? Hey, huh? <laughs> Yeah, to do good. Just remember, though, there's more important things than for fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Period, old man. They say war is a gift to peddlers. Need breeding profit, and though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Breeding profit. Oh, oh, okay. Uh... A long last, behold Ulda, jewel of Thanalon, where folk turn sand into gold. Hurrah! Oh yeah, strut! Hey, that walk though. I know, the guy was so hot. Final Fantasy HIV, let's go. Wah! I also walk like this. Just, you know, strutting. Are you excited, Iggy? I'm so excited for you. You're so pretty. Look at her. Adventure over here. Oh my god. Smash. Fresh of the carriage by any chance, eh? How can I tell, huh? Name's Wymon. And my business is knowing every bugger else's. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advi advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge, even just this once. Like, yeah, my dude, let's go. Egret, look at you, my baby. <laughs> so pretty. To explain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. And I don't want that on my conscience. Fine, you come with me to a dark alley. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over the quicksand and speak with Mormody. She's the master of Adventurers Guild and can set you on the right path. Oh. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. 
and that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure, adventure. Wow, Iggy, look at you, girl. Hello, little Alafel. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join an adventurous guild, you've come to the right place. Name's Momoji, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage an adventurous guild here in Ulda, so you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you, that is, without someone like me to steer your right, you'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalja, for example. They've been plaguing the Sultan the Sultanate for night on O forever now. Then there's the Garlene Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Aye, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. Worry and lingering feeling of loss. It's kind of hard for you to be telling me about, like, worry and lingering feeling of loss when I see cat girls dancing and, like, in bikinis. And little wonder, it's... Scarce has been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye, twas like the end of the world had come at last. But then, things begin to get foggy. Everyone got their own version of what happened next, some of them um, two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, then no, they don't. Nobody does. There is one thing the survivor agrees on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll, you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of cal the calamity itself whenever we try to call their faces to mind it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun permanently silhouetted i'll bet that sound poetic to you doesn't it well it's not it's bloody infuriating but even if we can't remember them we'll not let them be forgotten and so we call them the warriors of light all I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to live in Ulda in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. Alright then, I promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working on spinning and bickering like in the old days. And a happy and prosperous Ulda means more business for the quicksand, too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Yigrid Denethor. Well, ain't that the charming name? Thanks! Just rolls off the tongue. I know, right? It only took us like an hour and a half to figure it out. All right, Miss Denethor. Ah, Miss Denethor! Okay, that sounds so cool. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve as my witness, I swear to you, I'll bring you the money. Oh my god, it's an evil Lalafell stop! In the east, it is said that even merciful God might be driven to the vengeance of thrice blasphemy. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You too attend to this scum. No, please, mercy! Oh well. <laughs> well, and that story sight. Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Of course, I do enjoy hearing a lady muse on the many manhoods of her acquaintances from time to time. Yo, this escalated quickly! I thought she was like an absolute sweetheart, but then she's like, oh well, this dude is gonna die. And now she's like, if you have any tea to spill about hunky dudes, please let me know. Little freak! Anyway, welcome to Ulda, Agree. Go, Iggy.
Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Complete! Woohoo! We did it! Wow! Oh, look at all the Vieras and cool people! Whoa! Oh my god, that is so cute! What the fuck? Oh my god, you're cool. You're so cool. Oh my god, all of you are so cool. Oh! Ah, that's so cute! I'm looking respectfully. I'm looking respectfully. He looked at me. Never mind. I'm gone. Bye. Are they for sale? <laughs> they are probably for sale. Yes. Oh my. Oh, hello. It's a big cat, dude. <laughs> oh, you're hot. What have you done? Your kind has no business to even look at a lady such as I. Your kind? Excuse you? Such shocking, unbelievable insolence. And now look, look at how my gill is scattered across the ground. Pick it up right this instant. Huh? Like, get, get fucked, bitch. Found it will make you feel things. That is a promise. I don't know anyone that has been immune. Final Fantasy fucking destroyed me when I played Brotherhood. I literally sobbed so fucking hard. And fuck you. Yeah, let's go. Ah! Look at my girl! I don't know no, and with you! Oh. I'm Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than tired old Lalfell passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve no here have been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now, true Uldans work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Ulda to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Hey, big guy. What's up? Halt, madam. I'm going to have to ask you, put the pretzel on the ground and place your hand above your hand. Twilight pretzel from Papa Sean? By the gods, forgive me. You could say this new pose has my nerves in a twist. Cause that's that's my job as a chaos mage. I run around and I give pretzels to people. Igret, I have just this moment. No, no, the time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had to deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some unsettling news which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan Wars. A young nobleswoman from a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see to her safe return. The Sultan Sworn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution should word of her disappearance spread. I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred be beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen, Egret. It must not. I need you to help me find her. We are about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us oh. dear. Show yourself. <sighs> As you command, Aurora. Who that? Oh my god, he's cute. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your yeah, way. Yeah, tell him! We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge 
the romantic music and everything. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. <laughs> for what she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. Why, yes, S same. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Can you thank me in person? <laughs> Ew. The fuck? Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. I'm just gonna, you know, press buttons here. I'm great. I'm great at doing that. We did it! Woo! Whew. Feel. Think. Oh god. Are we tripping? Crystal bearer. Yeah. Me, I guess. I am Hydalin. All made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm. Yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. Deliver us! The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. I need to collect the crystals. Good night, arms. Thank you for joining in. Wow. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe. For the light liveth in thy heart.
Now I just took a nap. Middle of the road. So it's fine. Ah. Coming oh, shit. Now. He stayed? Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm. If I only knew. A denizen of the void, at any rate. The void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Dudes with chokers are so good. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? Funny that you're asking. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? <laughs> I shall return and tell them myself. Tell him. God, I love them so much. Oh, the little walk. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. The voice doesn't match the face. Until then, do try and stay awake. Then, the gods, you've returned. You had us all worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse. Why, her grace the Sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they've been whipping in the streets. But I have already given you a cause to weep, Papa Sean. You and people of Ulda. Please, you're, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, milady. But I beg you, please stay you're out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Shan. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. Ah! I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilira from a void sent finds. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder? I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the aether, rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Igrit, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thalon as you did to us today. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. Well, I think we've we've progressed pretty well. Uh, we started the game today and we reached level 10. But so far, I've, I've been enjoying myself. The game is absolutely beautiful. The art is majestic. And I'm just really excited to see what's going on happen in, with the lore. Pretty ears. Those are her horns, actually. And it's funny because I have the exact same set of horns in my bedroom. Before I leave, wait. See? <laughs> Horn supremacy. Bonjour.